2005 GMC Sierra 2500 power seating hoses replacement first you need to jack your vehicle and put the jack stand on it and then remove the driver side wheel and you need to remove the fender liner it has few clip you can pull them and then has few connection coming to this side those the wiring remove that and you good to go I already removed the power steering hoses they are very basic you just need two tool for it uh, one is the 18 millimeters and another one is 16 millimeters so the first one is going from the uh, box uh, to the side of the uh, let me show it to you it is going to booster so that's the first one coming from top and you have to run it and going to the power steering uh, pump sorry for that so it is going there so you don't need to pull out anything so it is very open and you can remove it easily but you have to have a uh, something underneath to do not make make a mess on with the oil okay the second one has a clip on the side and then other side is 18 millimeters so I'm gonna show it to you where is that one go so this is the gearbox here so you see we have two hoses here so that one on the back side is the the one has a clip and it is coming here connected to the power steering pump so it is very easy you can remove this and you have one clip in there you pull that one and that's it let me go to the third one which is the longest one okay so this one using 16 millimeters and 18 millimeters uh, wrench for it so this one is one side going to the rack or gearbox this is the first one and then you have this connection you have a 13 millimeters bolt here you need to remove that if you see that's a bracket and then it's coming up coming exactly to left side of the booster and then make sure these line has to uh, o-ring remove the o-ring when you open them up and make sure you have the o-ring out and then put the o-ring on the uh, new pipe or new hose and put them back so if you want to put them back make sure you play with them to tie the uh, screw in the right way so if it is going only one way and make sure you are not right and if you put it with the pressure in so you may ma uh, make a mess and uh, have a problem with the uh, thread okay so after these when you're done with it sorry I forgot to tell you this this car is uh, has this pipe which is go to the throttle body it has two bolts on it you you have to remove that and put it on the side and then when you're done you have to remove the cap put a uh, power steering fluid in it in the power steering reservoir and then start your car and turn the wheel this is the process turn the wheel to left or right hold it five seconds turn it to another side hold it for five seconds turn it to other side so it is left and right one by one so hold it for four seconds other side hold it for four seconds three seconds three seconds two seconds two seconds one seconds one seconds and put it in the middle 
you're done with it you need to check your uh, reservoir and uh, turn off your car and then check your uh, reservoir if you see you need to add more fluid add it up and then again crank it again and then do it three and three seconds three 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 two two one one and put it in the middle so you're good to go hope you enjoy my video and if you get chance please like my video and subscribe thank you